What's going on guys, Austin Nurcho here, back again playing on Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server. Um, so I'm just over here hanging out on the base, just kind of checking up on things, checking on the mammoth that I still have yet to get a name for. And I'm just looking at the base and everything, and I was over here crafting up some items for what I'm hoping to do today. I tried to do this the other day and it did not work. I have a bunch of flint on me. I don't need all your flint. Let's go and just unload it onto... The Anklo here. Ooh, and you got some levels. Oh yeah, we need uh, movement, 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 speed. Oh, we do need health though. Oh, that was too many. And what else should we put? Maybe some stamina there, because you move super slow, you Anklo. Um, but I'm over here crafting up some stone foundations, because I'm trying to get a water base done. And so that's what my goal is, and I tried to do this on episode the other day, but everything just went uh, terribly wrong, and nothing would work out. And so I just a ended up running out of time to get the episode done, and so I just kind of passed it off, or like gave up on it. So I'm moving on to other things. So in the meantime, when I was trying to do stuff, I did end up getting an otter tame. So I have that because I think, I don't know if there's any info on the otters. Um, I don't know. Because I know they'll harvest stuff for you. But I think if you wear them when you put them on your neck, let's go ahead and do that. And then K-mode it. Oops. Oh, I can't get any closer. Let's try backing up here. Oops, wrong way. Come on, there we go. So you can wear it on your neck like this, and I think it helps keep you warm a little. I don't know for sure, but I definitely need that because every time I go into the cold, I just die. I apparently didn't put enough in fortitude. Let's look at our fortitude. It's up to 60, but like I just die all the time. Um, but let's hop on the bird here. I'm going to be in a tame uh, putting up a water pin down here. Like I s mentioned, I started to do it last time. I made 10 behemoth gates, which I'm pretty sure I figured out. I do need more. So I'll probably take a break and gather stuff or move stuff off the dinos to craft them. But I want to put a water pin down in here. Um, but I tried to put it through here and then it just drops off. So I think I'm going to try and use... Oh wait, no, I was going to try something else. I think I just wasted all my stuff. Because I was going to do something different. Uh, I can't believe I just did that. Um, so I may end up having to craft more anyways. But I may try and use this whole area here. Depending on what I can get. Like this whole area here. Because I think I'm going to take and put um, a foundation down. Actually I'll just show you when I get to it. Because like I said I can't believe I just wasted all that stone and everything crafting that up when now I remembered what I was going to try and do to get this all to work um, but let's go ahead and fly up into our workshop here I did get the industrial forge put down that was something I did in the episode but again it didn't work out so I had to scrap it but I did get the industrial forge crafted up so we have this ready and it should be yeah we got you know metal cooking up that's just what I had leftovers so we got that obviously cooking up all our metal and I did get this um, thing it's the uh, why is it not saying it? Artifact pedestal. That's that. Let's see if we can. Nope. I don't know. Why does it not say what it's called? Um, do we hit? I don't even know what the button is to hit to bring stuff up. The H? Nope. That's just where we're located. Okay. I don't know what it's called, but it was very easy to get to. It's just, and um, there's like monkeys guarding or a monkey statue and you just go down the steps, break out some rocks and it's there and you don't have to fight anything and do nothing dangerous, it's just right there. But let's come in here, I had to craft up because my scuba stuff broke and that was an issue that I had. I really need to find some better scuba gear. But the tank broke and so I was suffocating and I was trying to tame a shark and everything just went horrible. So I got the behemoth gates in here ready to go and now I got to, do I have, I need to move stuff here instead of the other place nope that's it okay let's fly up into our base see if i can have any foundations real quick gosh i can't believe i still as more as i think about stuff i need to craft i shouldn't have crafted the things i did but we need stone foundations which i don't see any there so we must not have any i'll probably have had some back where i was but i'm gonna get some of the items crafted up and hopefully what my plan is will work because if not I may have to end up using these foundations that I just crafted yeah the stone ones let's go ahead and switch those I grabbed those out of my stuff but I'm going to restock this craft up the what I want to craft up 
that will hopefully work. I hope, hope, hope so much. I'm gonna get it craft up and then I'll meet you back in the water trying to tame a, or craft a, or sorry, build a dino pin in the water. And then once I figure that, or get that done and figure it out, we will then tame some dinos to put in there. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm down here at the bottom of my base. And of course I'm like all weighted down. Why wouldn't I be? Um, but we're here in the water. And of course it's cold because it's always cold. And there's pretty much nothing dangerous around in here anymore. I should probably put my swimsuit on. Uh, but I've got foundations and stuff ready to go. I did tame up a pterodon while I was waiting too. It was a 130 and it was in my base so I have that tamed up now too. But let's go and put on our scuba gear. So that way we can swim around all of these and we'll go and take the stone foundation and the ceiling. And hopefully this works how I want. So I'm going to come see over in here. It's not that good of a location. I mean, it's a good way in and out. I wish I could see a lot better than what I can. But let's go ahead and take our foundation, see if we can place it somewhere. So we can place it off the side here, which is what I'm wanting. But I want to take it, see if we can go into K mode, maybe. I want to take it so it's down enough to where we can uh, swim a dino in. Let's go with, oh shoot, I'll kind of. I think it needs to be this way more maybe going into this wall over here and let's see um, maybe there that looks pretty deep to swim a dino in I would think okay we'll just place it there so now we'll go out of K mode then we'll place ceilings now off of it oh shoot wrong one uh, come on, swim up. Oh yeah, and then I think I gotta put a, f a s of whatever you call it down. So let's go ahead into our inventory and we'll take, and I did bring pillars, so I'll just place it in the seventh spot. And hopefully no like piranhas or anything swim up on us. And so that's where we're gonna need a lot of pillars, which I s didn't make a whole lot, but I knew we would need pillars. So we can do that. And then go back up to the ceilings and do two more and then pillars off of that and of course then once I get everything set up and everything I'll then go through and put pillars in between it looks like that's down there it goes in between so then we'll go back up with six here now the unfortunate thing is I'm not this won't be even unfortunately as I um, would want it to be like all the doors the same height because um, yeah unfortunately that's not gonna work and I gotta just watch my oxygen stuff make sure my tank doesn't break again but I think it may have also broken because I got attacked by stuff, so that's down. And like I said, for some reason, I don't know if it was stuff I did the other day, but everything's pretty much cleared out of here by now. Um, like there's no spinos around anymore. So let's then go seven down here. But I'm going to do this, then I'm going to go through all the different waterways and do this. Um, but I just want to show you exactly what I was uh, talking about, but I do want to finish this because I'm want to show you the next part real quick before I move on okay so that's it and swim back up and we will place the ceilings there so it's all the way across now and see so yeah, that's pretty deep to be able to um, fit a dino fit dinos in I'm I believe so let's go in here now we'll take our behemoth gates now hopefully this works I don't know exactly how this works I was hoping it would like snap onto there but it doesn't look like it's going to let's go ahead and just center it on here I'm pretty sure it's sitting on this foundation I feel that it's 
pretty straight, as straight as it can be. As I said, we're kind of centering it on here. Awesome, awesome. So I think that'll block up. Then, like I said, I'm going to put pillars down through there now. Um, but actually, let's go ahead and put a door on here. There we go. So now we have our door placed. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and um, switch the manual and we'll keep it closed. And so that's pretty much what we're going to do. Let's go up top here and see how much is sticking out now. Um, not as much as I would like to stick out, but I guess it's just going to have to be. I guess I placed it a little too deep. But I, that'll keep stuff from coming out though. Pretty sure like any spinos or anything. And now I just got to... Um, let's see if we can go ahead and actually just automatically attach another. I don't know if it'll do it automatically. No, it doesn't look like it. Cause see, I thought I think you have to put the foundations down though to get them to snap. Maybe I'll try that. Um, let's get rid of this. I forget which number it is. Six. And I may get some of those stone foundations and see if I can maybe snap them on here and maybe try and replace it. But like I said, I'm going to do that, but just do it um, in different areas because it's kind of like forks over here. Let's go and take these off so I can see better. Look how weird my hair is. Of course, I have the flippers on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do this over here as well. Um... I may do it right in here because that's maybe pretty much a big enough area like in between these two things here that are may move up over this way a little bit. Don't know exactly. I'll just see where the best placement probably is and then of course I'm going to close off. I'll build a wall from there up to those rocks from wherever I do it over here and then I'll close off this whole area as well. So that way I just have this whole little water base area to myself. Um, so I'm going to try and work on stuff and get it done and hopefully when I come back I will be done and I can show you um, everything. Like I said, it may not be completely done, but then I want to go try and tame a water dino to be able to swim it in here and try it around. So I'll work on stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it. Uh, not complete. I was going to say I got it complete, but it is far from complete. But I got it um, somewhat done for now. Like I didn't do it perfectly. So here's this side's gates and then... I'll have to, of course, block off all this land. There's a stuck spino there that I don't want to attract. And then I got this area right here as well. Um, I'll just swim in here to show you. Okay, there's no prawn. I've been pretty much decimated by piranhas this whole time. But I got the gates placed now, and I got to just fill in that area and block that off all the way. So I, that's going to take a lot of crafting up of stuff to finish up. This took forever also. It's, like, been multiple hours of working on this. But... I don't really care that much like no water dino is going to get in through here the only thing I may have issues with is spinos but I'll have like a dino on neutral or something so if anything does swim in there and try and attack things it'll just um, eat it or whatever but of course I want to test this stuff out first so I'm going to fly out oh and over here it's weird so as you can see there's land here so I'm like oh I don't have to worry about anything I just block off you know the land area but um there's no land area, but there is a cave, but for some reason I couldn't, or like a little cave that goes down in there and comes out on this side. Um, but for some reason I couldn't place the gate, so I had to place it all the way over here. And I guess there is, I didn't check this area right here. I assume the water's just super shallow, so it's not going to have to be anything I have to worry about. But let's just... That sounded like a terror. Oh, there it is. Oh gosh, that scared me. Come on. Let's say I know my RG's on neutral. Come on. Huh. Okay, I think it's good for now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just shallow there. But anyways, now I'm going to go swim and I'm going to try and get a dolphin. Um, hopefully it'll be high level. Um, I was going to check that spino real quick also just to see what level it was. But now I don't see where it went. Oh, oh, it's right there. Um, but I'm going to try and get a dolphin to swim it into the base to make sure it fits everything. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of room in the base for me to fit stuff. I just got to make sure through all these, you know, little levee thing or little uh, streams and stuff. There's room. So I'm going to go find a dolphin because uh, I don't have enough time to tame a megalodon and deal with that whole thing again and die 50 million times. But I'm going to go find a dolphin to tame up and I'll bring it right back and we'll try swimming it up to the water here. So I'll be back. 
Okay, so I got an Ichthy Tame and it was a 145 actually. Oh my god. Oh god, I thought that was a shark. Come on. Please don't be stuck in the stoop. This thing has been dry. Oh, there's a Megalodon. I was trying to tame a Megalodon, but I was having issues. Okay, here comes the shark. Or the Ichthy, I keep wanting to say shark. But I was trying to tame a one a 90, almost said 190, but a 90 level shark, but uh, it, I don't know what's... Everything just keeps swimming away now. Like, I thought they fix, or somewhat did some reissuing of the whole swimming away or running away type thing on animals and stuff. Let's just kind of drag it over here. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Like, you just stay there. And hopefully nothing will attack you while I try and come back over here to the bird and I gotta make a saddle now for it quickly um it's not actually that far it's just here over here by the swamp at the end of that river so I gotta um because I thought I'd check over here first I saw a shark so I was trying for sharks I did knock out a level 20 but I wanted the nine level 91 so Astra's still over here which is good okay so let's go ahead wrong one but we'll go with this and then I I see oops it's right there oh I already got it and I should be pretty close I had a, I've made a setup before I didn't think about that Whoa. what are you doing oh god come on land I don't know why you flew away like that anyways. Okay, so we need to go in here and go with saddles. And we need ichthysaurus. I need metal and wood. Do you have any wood on you? I doubt it. But let's just check here. No wood. Okay. Um, of course, we got trees here so we can get wood. And then now we need metal, which all I need is a weird rock. Which they've been rocks everywhere. Come on. Oh, here's a bunch right here. Ran past them all. Oh, I only got two metal. So I need more metal. Oh, it may help if I use the right thing. There we go. Now we should be good. Crafted. There we go. A 145 ichthy. Oh, oh, there. I got a from where I killed a shark to try and feed the ichthy. Okay. So let's hope. I haven't got any messages or anything that it's dead, so. But I don't see it anywhere. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I think it was on attack target. Gosh dang it, I swear. If this thing's dead. Oh no, there it is. Oh, the megalodon's over here after it. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, don't kill my ichthy. Actually, since it's stuck over here, I should have just see if we can try and knock it out too maybe and maybe we can maybe get a shark here as well oh gosh it's moving closer and closer As I shoot the wrong thing. Get out of the way. Because we're either going to kill the shark. Get out of the way. Oh, I guess it killed the Megalodon. So I guess that answers our question there. Okay, so let's put on the saddle. Ooh, and it's already got so many, a bunch of levels. Let's get it over a. I guess as close to a thousand as we can. As I suffocate. Now just please don't be stuck. Awesome.
Okay, let's see if we can put some meat in, try and get it. Oops. To eat, heal up some stuff here. Come on, eat, eat, eat. And now we just gotta swim it back, so, um. Okay, so we're feeding it here. Just gonna feed it all this meat. Put all this stuff. Drop all of this. Take the arrows and the wood back. Uh, drop all this. I think I got rid of wrong stuff, but oh well. So we've got our ichthy now. I need to just find. There's the bird. Now it's time to see if we can swim home. Let's see, do I have any stuff? A lot of my swim scuba stuff, but I do have... Oh, I do have a scuba tank and glasses so I can see. Okay, let's swim home. So it's now time to swim home. Or hopefully we can make it... Um, I hope I'm going in the right direction. Got the bird following us. But now it's just going to swim home. See if I can make it all the way up the straights and hopefully I am going in the right direction. I hope, because if not this will be a kind of a short trip. But let's just see, so I'm going to swim and of course go up for oxygen whenever I need to. But um, I will meet you once I get back to the base. Well that turned out to be a disaster so I was swimming back and I got attacked by a baryonyx and it knocked me off and then a bunch of piranha and the baryonyx and stuff attacked the ichthy and of course killed so my 145 ichthy got killed off so we're not doing too well for the start here but I made it um, just a little bit I was getting real close to the base too and it just came out and attacked me so that stings super bad because you know I'm you know so close to my base and had a 145 and everything but um so i guess i'll just have to try something else and probably get a shark next time so that's probably going to be it for the day like i said we got the base build and it took forever this has been you know probably going on five hours or something of building this thing um and it's not even done yet so i'll have to finish continue um you know cutting off all the base area and everything so it's just a huge disaster and i like i said i just lost i don't know if i can um, I don't know what the thing shows, um, tribe thing, let's see, um, down here, yeah, at the very bottom, Ichthysaurus was killed by a piranha, my 232, gosh dang, oh, that sucks, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed, if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to see more ARC videos, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>